Hi everybody, uh, welcome to my channel. My name is Priscilla. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I um, So in this video, we're gonna be continuing on with the lab setup for our SCCM installation. And what we'll do specifically in this video is extend the Active Directory schema or the AD schema. It's gonna be really quick, um, but pretty much the reason, um, like when you extend the Active Directory schema for Configuration Manager, what you're doing is you're introducing new structures to Active Directory um, that are used by configuration management sites to publish key information in a secure location where clients can easily access it. And basically an extended schema simplifies the process of deploying and setting up device, uh, setting up clients, uh, sorry. And it also lets clients efficiently locate resources like content um, servers and additional services that the different config manager sites uh, system roles provide. I hope all of that made sense, uh, but we're going to be doing this really quickly. It's a short video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it, but all right, let's get to it. Thanks. All right, so we're going to go in our domain server. So we're going to um, select the config manager file. When you first download it off of the, um, off of the internet, you're going to get like, a, it's going to be like zipped. So you have to unzip it. And then you're going to actually get this MEM underscore config manager 2002 file and um, then you're gonna so you're gonna go into that one okay and then you're gonna select smsstup bin x64 and then we're just doing this to get the file path so I'm going to go ahead and um, copy the file path for this so if I go up top, toolbar, so I'm just going to copy that. And then we're going to go to the command prompt. And we're going to paste that in there. And then we're going to do slash, um, or backslash, and A-X-T-A-D-S-C-H dot EXT. I'm going to put enter, and that's that's it. You successfully extended the Active Directory schema. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do to extend it. Um, you go to that file path. There's other ways to do this, but um, this is a way that I've used and that worked for me. So yeah, that's it for this video. Um, in the next video, we're going to be installing the SCCM roles and features. So stick around for that one. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any comments or suggestions, Feel free to drop them in the comment section. If you want to also go ahead and like and subscribe, that would be cool too. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, all right. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.